There we go. Quite obviously knackered. What I always do is when it's a timber lintel, put three, four inch nails into the timber lintel against the back of the new lintel and it stops it tipping, which it always tries to do. Here's that nasty, nasty lintel. Good Monday morning. Monday the 24th of April and we're back on a lintel job. Been a while, been quite a while. As you can see we're all loaded up ready for a lintel job. We're a bit late getting here because um, we've been to JM Steel to order the next lintel for the next window which is going to be a hundred 200 by 100 angle iron, 27, 70 long. So that's going to be a pickup job on the roof. But uh, that's been ordered and that's going to be ready in the morning. And then um, we'll, we'll get this lot unloaded and I'll, I'll, I'll show you around the back. There we go. Quite obviously knackered. weird how it's sticking out it's almost flush with the face but yeah it's a 1.8 window bless you so it's a 2100 angle line which we have in the van and then we've got this one to do the big one across the other side uh, the customers decide whether to have the house rendered or repointed if it's getting repointed then all this bit where it's going to be patched up all that's going to be patched up um, if not that doesn't need patching up because it's going to be rendered obviously and then when we do the lintel we can just put block back in but it's it's the old discontinued bricks and for some reason the bricks and the pike stroke gable don't match to the bricks at the bottom so up to lintel the one brick above they're a different one which is a bit strange so yeah it's, it's getting on for nine o'clock so i need to stop the waffle and get um get it helping now let's get this all the stuff off the van so yeah, catch you in a bit. She's almost flush with the surface, which is bonkers. You can see the, ru the rust stains on the window, where it's run down off the lintel. There's the damage. There's the telltale sign of a lintel. Big fat, big fat. Cross joint, bed joint. It just keeps getting repointed, which doesn't solve the problem. That's been silicon as well, that's why it won't come out. Yeah, it won't come out because it's silicon. But anyway, you get the gist. It's supposed to be that big. And there's the crack. Get close by that. Up, up, up. To the weakest point. So, let's get this trim off. Gap there, look. No, it's leveled the brickwork there, and when you look at the other end, the window is 15 mil below the brickwork. <coughs> so, I'm guessing the window's been put in straight. So, we've got to pack this up when we put the lintel in. We'll pack it off the mullion there, that's where the strength is, and that stops the lintel sagging. We'll also put a couple more in just to just for safety, but that's going to take most of the weight of it there. And that one's going to be the heavy duty lintel in that side. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this covered up, this window, and have a quick break, and carry on after break. It's going to, I think we're going to need sun cream today. So, this is our first lintel job, where we're cable free. Pretty much we only need the cable for charging batteries. Yeah. For our hoover. Our saws all. That's a beast, that. Got our blower, which is like a jet engine, and then we've got our drill. So with it only being soft lime mortar, that's plenty powerful enough that drill. 
So we get started with the drill, make our hole big enough to get this, that, that thing in, and then we're away. So yeah, no extension lead, no cables to ship over on the, on the scaffold. So let's get going. Ten mil bit. Close three. Not sound like motor. Pardon? Not like motor. No? No. You got yeah. up to the highest setting. Hey? You got up to the highest one. Yeah, no, what you put it on me, it's not going near it. You can take the old gate, just to cut that out and mm -hmm. cut it. Yeah. Alright, but we're never gonna get done. That's a nice surprise for us. It's been a while since I've spoke, hello. So I'm doing my usual song and dance while he's getting the bricks out. I'm getting all the stuff brought round, getting the mixer ready for mixing. Um, and then once those bricks start coming out, I'll be polishing off with the scotch hammer. My usual song and dance, so I'm just out of the way while the dust is happening. So yeah, um, we'll, catch you, we'll catch you when some progress happens. As usual, all our plans have fell at the first hurdle. This stuff, as you can see, this is the, the classic cavity tray full of. Sorry, that shouldn't be going there, that should be going in there. So, this isn't. I don't, well, I don't know if it is or not, but I always thought. Yeah, um, I always thought. Sand lime, well, lime mortar was very soft. This stuff looks like it, but it's behaving like three to one mortar, sand cement mortar. So it looks like lime mortar. So I don't know if they put cement in it or something, or too much cement, but it's rock hard. Sawzall's not touching that. We've had to grind it. Um, there's the lintel. There's the there's the rust. It's bone dry at the moment, but look at that. There's your rust jacking. You can't see it there, but the big joint's gone. And it's a big steel to begin with, before it was expanded. So, um, yeah, no, no insulation in the cavity. 
and then dodge the bullet there with the sawzall because we've got this in the cavity. Right where the uh, sawzall was got, first went through. So we've been lucky with that. It's the end of the joists. Look at the thickness of those joists. That's three inch then. Solid timber. And we've got a timber limp behind this knackered. There you go. So Alex is well Alex hasn't broke a brick, a brick a brick's broke while he's been trying to clean them because they are hard to clean. Had a big crack down the middle to begin with as soon yeah. as I touched it. Yeah. Just give up. They're not the best bricks. And the mortar's tougher than the bricks. Yeah, which is not good. You can see the bricks are full of cracks anyway. Crack, crack. They definitely look like seconds full of chips. I mean we went fussy about brickwork back in the 60s and 70s, another one cracking it. Face is going on that one, so it's not pretty. Um, another crack up there. So, anyway, I'm going to crack, crack on. Um, we're ready. We're, gonna, we're only going to put two acros in because this stuff's absolutely solid. And for once, there's the old. I think they're galvanised them, but they're the old tyres. They are nasty. They're in good condition. Them not a, not a bit of rust on them. Usually they rust through, and they blow as well. So you, you get you get a tie wire jacking. So it's when you see a crack in the brickwork in in rows, but it's all the tie wires have lifted and cracked the brickwork. These are in great condition. So there's going to be another set up there somewhere. Yeah, one or two, about three or four courses up from there. So they, they're doing the work holding the brickwork and the actual mortar. It's, it's rock hard. So we're going to put two acros in. One about here and then one about there. Split into thirds basically. So I'm going to get a couple more out, get this acro in and then carry on. I'd get the grinder in and take this joint out because it goes right through but I can't physically lift it up at that height because that is... You can see how high it is. So it's holding the grinder up level and if it catches it's a bit dangerous. You, you'd need to trust, you need to uh, scaffold up another three foot to hook, keep that safe. It'd just save a lot of chipping anyway. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Let's get you set up somewhere on time lapse and you can carry on watching. You put the radio pal. Yeah, we're gonna use now. Don't know where I'm gonna put this. Right, I'm down the other end of the garden now, the other side. Do you want that patching? I don't know what's going on there. They've changed the window and made a right pig's ear of it. But um, that involves all two and out and what have you. And then you've got the window. There's the lift up. It's even lifted up the tiles and gone through the um, the verge. So that's a lot bigger that one. So we're going to be a lot early to start that one. It's weird because it's like like plainish brick with sandline mortar up to the lintel height, then the bricks change and the mortar changes. That is rock hard, that. I find it really difficult doing this, and we've had five, I think, snap because the bricks are really poor quality. 
So they told me the idea of having it rendered or pointed and I, I think I'll advise them to get it rendered because it, it is, it's not nice, even you point this, the bricks are still all chipped and a bit of a mess. I think I'd, I'd go for the extra expense and get the rendering done and it means we don't have to do that then. Instead of trying to make a decent job of this, render over it and it's going to save them money with us not doing that. It can be money off the rendering then, but we'll speak to them later. But yeah, up to update, it's one o'clock. I've had to nip to Fells to get a, bo a bag of nails for 12 quid because I was I needed three nails. Because what I always do is when it's a timber lintel, put three four inch nails into the timber lintel against the back of the new lintel and it stops it tipping, which it always tries to do. Uh, so that, that could be done. I've, I've measured me for me um, cavity tray. Yeah, cavity tray, which is going to be 2.6 meters long, which allows for an upstand at each end. Um, the wheat vents are in here. So I think they call them peat vents because you don't see much of them. There's two types in here. There you go. That's all you see sticking out. That's why a lot of people say, oh, where's your wheat vents? Because they can't see them. That's the whole idea. So, yeah, it's that the water's that hard. We didn't even need to, uh, we could take those props out fine, no problem, we wouldn't move anywhere. But obviously, you don't, you don't risk that. Alex got you a few, to, a few more to clean, and he's getting a mix in. So, I'm going to put some insulation behind the lintel. I know there's no insulation in the cavity at all, but if ever they decide to get it blown in after, then if we don't put it behind that lintel, that's going to be a cold spot, because the, they can't blow in behind the cavity tray, which you see a lot of on the old houses. So it's just fruit proofing it really. It doesn't have to be done, but it's just why not do it while it's open up like that? That's there. And yeah. The um we're gonna have trouble putting the trim on. The window's about 15 mil at a level, probably even more. And it's not straight in the opening. It's about 15 mil back over there, it's about 25 mil back on here, so it's it's like on an angle going across so the trim fits under the lintel there but it, it, it goes past the lintel there I'll have to show you that to explain it but it's a pain in the ass anyway um, I might just end up just putting a silicon seal in it a big it'll be a big silicon seal but we can't really get a decent trim on top of it um, there's my boy and yeah, a bit of extra pointing to do where it's moved and cracked. And the cavity tray is going to be nailed onto the brickwork and a bead of silicon product to seal it. Because um, if it was blocked, we'd chase it in or we had a joint. But we can't chase it into the brick. We just can't get in there to get the grinder in. And it's so hard to try and get it into the gap. Um, so that's it. I think I'm going to have to edit this down because I've waffled on long enough. Yeah. So I'm going to get up there. Well, I'm going to get this thing cut first. Then I'm going to get up there and get it fitted in. And by that time, Alex will have a mix ready. Oh yeah, there's the old one. So. I'll see you in a bit. Can you turn the ta radio down for me now? If I had the mics on, I wouldn't need to turn it down. Thank you, Alex. Right, 
there we go that's nailed in that's no nails so that's been smeared on with the trowel so it's all sealed there's nothing going down behind that got insulation under there got our upstand both ends DPC's cut back not lost it no it's been a while it's been a couple of months hasn't it we went from lintel after lintel to nothing yeah <laughs> so yeah that's ready got, got both upstands done by yourself you did well yeah so I've just remembered now I just need to pack it before we start um, you've got the packets around it yeah so yeah we'll get this packing in and then I can get bricklaying that's the main part where the mulling is to stop any flexing so um, yeah we'll get that packed up and we'll get the mortar up and we'll get the bricklaying done God damn bricks. So, aside from those five, we're done. Obviously, tomorrow I'll probably get them patched up while Dad's doing all that, so I'll get that sorted. But the lintel's in there at least. And as you can see, with some nice wheat vents. Caught out by assumptions. Hmm? Caught out by assumptions. Assumptions. We assumed it's soft, it was soft lime water. Yeah. And got caught out there. But tomorrow we're ready for it, so we'll have, yeah, we'll, we know what's coming. And uh, obviously, trestles are like we're, we're gonna get the trestles sorted out properly tomorrow, as you'll probably watch us do. But that's our task tomorrow. So catch you then. Right. Excuse the no mics, but there's no wind. It's very peaceful, so you should be able to hear me. We're all set up with our scaffold, which is higher than normal. Got this big rascal to do today. I think the customers are erring on the side of rendering, which I don't blame them really because you've got two types of bricks, crack bricks everywhere. It's um, repointing, it's not going to make it look much nicer. So it needs a good a good seeing to it, it needs the dry verge redoing. I think they've got a bit of roofing work it needs doing. But, but our bit is um, obviously the lintel. First job, which we didn't realise, is that light. I've got to take that off and lift it up two courses. And I can do that straight away so we don't have to come back and fix it to the old brickwork. We've got five bricks to put in there. Um, we've got bricks left over from two of our jobs down on the Lintel estate. So we're going to use them for patching up. 
Um, hopefully, if the customer gives the okay for render, we can keep our bricks and we'll go and get some concrete commons and just do it with concrete commons. Because those bricks are very rare. They're from walls we've knocked down, so we could do with keeping them if we can. <clears throat> and then this bit here. Let's see where I'm pointing. This bit here <clears throat> is a right mess. So we need to take at least three courses out of that and then tie that back in so it's strong for taking the lintel. You can't sit a lintel on that because that lintel will be sat on a one, two, three, a six course straight joint there. So the hole will be stuck on that little section there, which isn't, which it, it's moved as well where the lintel's lifted. And you can see the size of that joint. There's your classic lintel jacking. If, you, if your windows or doors look like that, not necessarily that bad pointing, but big joint either side of your window, that's what's happening. And there's the the lintel doubled, doubled in depth. And someone's put a bit of mastic over it, hoping that'll fix it. So, um, and there's the there's the crack. It just follows the path of least resistance. So basically the whole pike has been lifted up slightly. So I'll rake that out and repoint that. Because obviously we can't drop it back down again, because it's, it's, once it's moved, it's moved. So light first, and then we're going to get the the uh, we're going to cut all the way through that with the saw and take it out like we did yesterday. There's all blade isn't up to the task, I'm afraid. This stuff's soft. Once you get past lintel light, different mortar, different bricks for some bizarre reason. So we're all set up. What time is it, Al? Uh, ten to nine. So we're pretty much arriving here yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. So we're, we're, we've gained an hour straight away because we only just got here this time and we're already set up and ready to go, everything's plugged in. Just need to get the PPE in and get cracking. I think I've just filmed that instead of time lapsing it, so hopefully I haven't. <laughs> but there you go, look at that. We're all opened up. Here's our cavity debris. Bit of a floorboard. Standard mortar. So, this bit's destroyed because this bit was in the brickwork, but look at that bit. Any idea what that was supposed to be doing? Absolutely nothing. Just a huge yep. Looks like it was built in and it's fell out. No, it wasn't built in there. But look, look at that. That cavity tray is doing absolutely nothing apart from catching shite. Not attached anywhere. All curled back and then it's just a trough. branch so we're about a third of the way across maybe a bit further lights done so there's our lintel oh yeah Alex is showing the um, the brick layers before us in inverted commas must have had a tuck pointer there you go wonder why the water was getting in and rusting the lintel oh, it beats me so there you go, I'll, I'll take this all in one go just to show how bad it is, but that's done how long that is, but I can't get it out. So we'll, we'll come back to that when we get further along. So I'll see you after the break. Oh, 
Right, we're at the demolition part, 90% finished. Oh, yeah. just got this bit to knock out now. Take that half out, take it down to there, build that back up so it's tied in. So it's actually attached to something. So, there's that nasty, nasty lintel. Well, there's the tray. Now this edge, is this edge is gone because this was in the brickwork but for looking at that edge it looks like that was never in the brickwork but anyway we haven't torn that so far so good and it starts to dish a bit there which you don't want because it holds water it's supposed to send water down it dishes a bit more about halfway now and shit loads of the, it's so brittle like this but under under compression it's like it's like a car jack and it's perpetual once it starts there's no stopping it it just gets worse and worse and we've got a hole there so and then we've got this oh you can see that okay it's from about there it's fell out it wasn't very well built in, I don't know if it's torn or what. By the look of it, it wasn't even built in at the middle there. Clean edge, no mark. Just sort of in with a wing and a pro when you did it. See, just snots holding it up there. And then here, the heat, it goes ply, it goes soft in the heat. Or it used to. And it's just sagged. So it's been in the brickwork, but it's not been on the back wall. You can see that. That is what you call a chocolate teapot. As much use as a nice big bulk of timber. Always, oh, never found a rotten timber yet in the inside. And we're keeping one of these. We found one in the cavity, one of these old tie wires to show you. So we've got about eight inch seating over here and we've got over a foot that end. So obviously they didn't have um, grinders, just cut them down to size back then so that it went in. So again, we're going to take this one out, put a full brick in there. It's nice seating. And then whip this thing out, get it round to the van. I might even cut it in half, so it's more manageable. Oh yeah, and all the debris that come out, we also found this kebab, the mortar kebab. Cavity, cavity tray shaped. Nice bit of reinforcing the motor there, and it's not a. I thought it was a dowel, but it's not. It's just a. It's just a branch. So I'll hand that over to Alex. Ow! Oh. So yeah, we'll get Alex up here. Here he is. I'm gonna take the kebab off me. Thank you. Say hi. Hi Neil. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> um. Yeah. Once he's finished on the phone to Neil. We'll get this out and get that one in. It's pretty heavy. This is uh, this is 150 by 75 roughly I think. We're putting 100 in by 200. So anyway, let's get this out and get the other one in and go and have some lunch. to mark the block pavers. Oh. Go and take the camera up for a second and I'll... Uh... You want to go down a bit further? Hmm? Switch, you want to go down a bit further? I was going to like flip it over. Will you? Yeah. I don't need the camera is it? You can have a little ride. Okay. Where are you going to put it then once you flip it over? I'm going to carry it out. It's heavy. 
It's going to be two of us to carry this. I carry this one on my own. This is heavier. This is thick as steel. This is about 12 mil thick. Okay. I was thinking about cutting it in half as well. Yeah, I was thinking that too. If you put a couple of bricks down again, we'll slide it along and drop it down to the bricks. Or the blocks. Put the blocks up because you got you got them higher than haven't you? What? Two blocks here. Just put one of those where the lead is. You just take the weight, I'll steady it coming down. You're going to put it in your own way there, aren't you? You need to stand the other side of that steel. I might need you to come down. Okay. Just so one of us can lower it while the other moves it. Okay. Let's put this out down. I can take that bit if you want. Okay, just watch yourself with us. So you just take, take the weight and I'll direct it. It's not heavier. Oh, that's heavier, I think. Right, pass the back camera. It's in shadows here, isn't it? Alright, swap it over. We'll get this one up now. Okay, so this end is pretty sweet. Although it has rusty. And then let's take it along. Stand back, how your shadow's in the way. Red 5 going in. Can you hear Red 5, meaning red for rust. Nasty. And we'll come back along and put it in. It's all about the upstand, which is probably triple what we just took out. Projections 100. So there you go. Okay. Yep, that's you in a nut. Right now, if I stay here, oh, keep much that plank doesn't slide. Alright, one sec. Bring it in a bit. I've got it, go on. A bit more. There we go, now it's not. Give a push. Right, bit of demo to do now. Um, I thought it's going to fit. There's all the loose stuff out. We made a right hack job of it, there's the original jam. And we've reduced the door for some reason. So we need to get that half out, that half out, and bond this all in. So it's strong. But got one bit toothing through there, and then you've got a couple missing there. But um, it's, it's, it's going to be rendered, that's not a problem. We're going to, that's, we can, that can just be left. But this is going to give it a lot of strength that we put in now. Try and get the silicon off here. We can build up to it and reseal it. But yeah, all the shit's got shit's gonna be moved. I'm gonna get this brick bricked up. Once we get these halves out.
right. Things have really slowed down now. Five to one. So that bit section's been rebuilt now. Ready for the lintel. And he's chop off that mortar up there underneath those brick and edge to get the cabbage tray tucked under there. And then we'll get the lintel after dinner. And get bricking it back up. So that side's been redone. That brick's been reset. All nice level plumb mark, etc. Uh, bricks just keep breaking. So we need to speak to the customer and just say we need to get uh, commons. Because it's, I think, 99% going to be rendered now. So we're going to go for dinner and get back on it after dinner. There we go, just after three. Yeah, just after three. Yeah, it, um, we can't make this look pretty. The bricks are all chipping as they've been cleaned up. So we've gone for builders a face brick wall which is going to get rendered. You see all the wheat vents. That one's higher there. See that one's higher than that one. That one's on the mortar bed. That one's on top of the lintel. That's why it's higher. It's still doing the job. We're going to cut that off tomorrow, the angle iron, the uh, cavity tray, where it's sticking out. Got a trim to put underneath tomorrow. Well, I've got a few jobs to do tomorrow, so we need to get here early and get cracking. I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to have to go and get some commons to finish this, because we're way, way some bricks short. We brought 20, didn't we? I think so. Yeah. Um, you can see, it, there's nothing you can do with this. Look at the state of it. The brickwork's a mess anyway. The bricks are blown, cracked bricks. Everything's moved up. So we can't make it look nice even by repointing it. So it's probably better to um, render it because it's just horrible. Some jobs need rendering, and the, the mortar's rock hard, so it would spend longer breaking it out than we would putting it back in. Go through a few blades on that one. Yeah, the rendering's definitely the way to go. Well, here's how hard it really is. And yet it looks like lime mortar. Yeah. But if you look, look, there's loads of like, like bits in it. Yeah, that's cement that. So yeah. they must have put cement in with the light mortar. Yeah. It's stronger than 3 to 1, isn't it? Definitely. But it's not brittle. Like, 3 to 1 pops off and lumps because it's brittle, but this stuff isn't. It's so. Like coming off your flakes. Yeah. So, like I say, just after the day, I'm going to if to get some more bricks so we can get this finished. Get as many bricks up there as we can today with whatever mortar we've got and then we're going to take stuff away tonight because there's a lot of stuff to take away yeah try and get the acros out tonight 
Get definitely these. take um, some planks back, I reckon. Why? Because if you get a, if you can get up to a section, you can get up to there. Yeah, we'll take that section yeah, out. We can take one section out. Yeah. Right. Enough talking. Let's get off to Fairwoods. <sighs> we winning? No. No. <laughs> but that's about as far as we can go today because we've used up all our bricks. Essentially, we've had a, we've had a talk with the customer and. Even though they are likely going to render it, they still want uh, bricks to match. So we're just going to see what we've got left at home, bring them tomorrow, pick up some more cement from Fairwoods, and then um, and get this finished tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow anyway, so it's not a big, not a big deal. So while he's getting that bit finished up, I'm having a quick tidy up. But um, we will probably catch it tomorrow when we're still working. So see you there. Day three. Day three, yeah. I've just been to get some silicon for sealing at the top of the doors and a bag of sand. And while I've been away, Alex has got those last five brick patched in there. Lovely job. Point this last little bit here. Alex is just doing those off a ladder. Alex, do you want to move the trestles over? Well, when you're done with the pointing, we can, yeah. Okay. So I'll right. give you back your tools and then we'll shift these over. Right, okay. Yeah, and once these trestles are down, we can start tidying up and get the seat, get the uh, trim in. I've, I've left the um, I've left the DPC hanging over there because um, watching Izzy the other day, he mentioned about I think it's three mil of in, three mil of DPC should be left over the lintel, which um, I'm, I've I thought I've might have heard about, but not really took any notice of. So um, I've left it overhanging so we can cut it back with a tiny overhang on it because um, you can see how much of that angle line's exposed. There's a good 80 mil of that angle line exposed out the, outside of the door. So I want to tell the customer it's only done with the galvanised paint at the moment, so that will need painting as well to protect it. Probably um, a good hammer right to do that. Um, yeah, so it's just the finishing touches, and then we're off to the, um, the farmhouse job this afternoon. We've got a few jobs to do there including concreting the floor which we'll have to have a look at so that's it um, this brick won't be moving anymore it is where it is now and um, yeah let's get cracking and get this job finished off Right, didn't realise I was filming, I thought I was in camera action, so I'm going to have to cut all that music out. Yeah, so, we are done. I mean, nearly. Uh, our brick relaying bit's done. We've just got this gap to fix. As you can see, that gap goes from probably about 10 down to 25. So I've put these packers in to stick the trim against so I've got to go off and get a, get a trim you see that this wall this, this is set right back so you can see the underside of the lintel there so that needs painting but a little tip I got off Fizzy the Bricky is leaving a few mil of the uh, cavity tray sticking out so thanks for that Izzy and obviously I didn't do it on this one because I didn't watch it I watched his video before I did that one but uh, yeah always picking up tips from other brick layers very handy and again this one 15 mil drop in it and also the windows cocked it's set back further that side than it is on this side so the window sort of does that so the trim's going to sit under there but it's going to sort of sit in proud in proud front in front of the little there but there's nothing I can do with, about that without refitting the window which we don't do 
and obviously it's not feasible to do that so I'm going to stick the trim on and seal along the top of it just do as best I can it won't be pretty but you've just got to work with what you've got the lintel's in straight so yeah, you can just make out all the um, warm wheat vent there that's the upstand one, you can just see the damp course where the upstand is a bit as well every two bricks nice and tight down to the lintel and there's the other one with the other upstand is same with this one, upstand every two bricks not going to leak and that's going to last a long time so what I've got to do now is nip to Amiga Plastics which is just down the road in Bootle um, I'm just waiting for Alex to come out he's just in the toilet once he gets back I'm going to let him know what's going on he can do the final tidy up and the swill down and I'll be there and back in half an hour assuming the traffic isn't too bad down there so um, that's it for now I will be back shortly with a 30mm trim to stick on there. Yeah. Well, there you have it. We're finished. I hate doing that. <laughs> but you can't just say, right, I'm done. Get somebody else to fix your, your trims for you. I've got no. used to doing it. Yeah. So, trim one. In silicon with uh, glue. Trim two. In. Uh, this stuff, it's, it's not uh, super glue. It's super duper glue. And this stuff is dangerously fast. I've never used it before. It uh, definitely does the job. You get one shot with that. So, and then obviously, two new lintels. There you go. <laughs> so, bit of a tedious one, but that's just how it is, isn't it? The main thing is they're done, and they have the wheat vents in, so whether they decide to render or not, they're uh, set. I think if it's rendered, they'll just render over them. Yeah, but if they don't, then the wheat vents are in. Yeah. So it's uh, it's prepped for either or. So that is the end of our video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe because that's a massive help to the channel. We greatly appreciate all the support. And we're aiming to 50,000 this year. We're aiming high this year, 50,000 by the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button. You heard the man. So, this has been Brickling with Steve and Alex, powered by Milwaukee, and I'll see you in the next video.